Good morning or good evening, wherever you happen to be. Happy Easter. We're so pleased to have you here. I'm Dr. Ruth Anderson. I'm here with my beautiful soul sister, Terry Angel. We're here with Enlightened World Network. Every Sunday, we do a silent meditation, which means that we invite you to meditate along with us. Terry and I are going to go behind the scenes. We'll meditate for 25 minutes while Terry plays some beautiful music. And then we'll come back on and we'll share with you what we experienced. There's always a fascinating story there that's provided to us by the Archangels, often by Mar Archangel Michael, Terry's guides, my guides. So looking forward to this Easter message this morning. So thank you for joining us. So Terry's going to play some music. We'll see you in about 25 minutes.
and we're back. Thank you for joining us for this meditation. Easter is such an um, such a special time here at Enlightened World Network. And they, we do believe that the Christ, the Christ, the Christ consciousness, will meditation. that special time. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Um, and the other reason is because Easter to us represents such growth and promise and renewal. And that's so much of what we try to bring to Enlightened World Network every single day. If there was one holiday that summed up Enlightened World Network on a daily basis, it's Easter. So it just feels so perfect to be right here with you all today. We really saw a piece of um, Enlightened World Network expanding this morning. And for the last, for this is the second year in a row, we've been shown an Easter banquet in, in our meditation. And we were at the Easter banquet. Terry, you want to talk about this banquet for just a minute? The banquet's a celebration. And that's what Easter is it's a celebration. It's the promise, the hope, the renewal, and new beginnings. That's what I get when I think of Easter. It's all about new beginnings, and that's exciting. So this celebration, this banquet that we were at, there was a feast. There was a stage that we saw with the spotlight, and we saw that there was a huge orchestra playing, just playing a, a very uplifting tune, like there was something exciting in the air, something was going to happen. <clears throat> and then the spotlight came on and we saw Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael is the angel that brought in a concept that has turned into a healing modality, clearing modality of energy. It's called the angelic gems. And that was really highlighted in this meditation today for us to start sharing that out more widely to let others know that this is something available and it's a beautiful energy. So as we were seeing the gems today, they were really sparkling and they wanted to be highlighted. They wanted to be in that spotlight, Ruth. They were just saying, you know, I'm here, shine the light on me so that others can see how beautiful I am. And they are beautiful. So that's what we want to do is to really share with you that this is something that wants to come forward in a bigger way than what it has been. We've, we've already begun putting it out there in the world, but now it feels like it really wants center stage at Enlightened World Network. Right. And I'll, I'll just share with you the angelic gems, what they are. So um, starting in December of two years ago, um, Archangel 19. Raphael, 19, yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> Raphael shared angelic gems, and they are literally, well, you can't see because of the green screen, they're green gems, and they are infused by Archangel Raphael and 11 other spiritual divinities. There's nine archangels, the Christ consciousness, the creator, and divine mother. And each one looks green on the outside, but they hold different energy on the inside. And this energy can change. And it always, co always comes in in colors. So there's 12 different colors. Each one is associated with an archangel or the divinity. And as you hold the gem, you can feel what color is coming into you. And each one represents mm -hmm. a different clearing. It could be clearing of old constructs, you know, faulty beliefs that it's time to let them go. It could be um, requests for physical healing or energetic trans transmutation, helping you ground. There's 12 different things here that these gems can do, and they also work in combinations. So when you purchase a packet, you receive 33 of the angelic gems and there's also a card deck the card deck is 
And if this feels like a sales pitch, it's not a sales pitch. I want you to be, I'm going to be really clear on this. We're just sharing with you what has been given to us and what you can have if you want. Not a sales pitch. It's actually a gift to be aware of this amazing clearing modality from Archangel Raphael. But with the card deck, there's the 12 angel cards, as we call them, that share what that color um, clears and which divinity is involved with it. And then there's other combination cards, which brings in combinations of the colors. So that all comes with that. There's also training videos. Terry and I um, can work with you one-on-one -on -one or in a group. You can also become a facilitator of working with the angelic gems. So, you know, I guess get used to hearing about them because we are being asked to acknowledge their worth and really give folks the opportunity to experience them. So we will be sharing these out more often on the Enlightened World Network. Yes, and they're beautiful. It's such a beautiful energy to work with them. And we have received just miraculous results with letting these gems do their work. The angels work through, through us to bring in, in uh, more clarity and to know exactly what's needed at a certain time to come in and clear that energy. So we encourage you to learn more about them. Find out, ask questions. What is it? What's it all about? And we'll be happy to share that information with you. This feels good. It feels like a new beginning and it could be a new beginning for you to open up more to your energy and to the healing that comes through from it, from to just doing that, from opening up. Right, and I'll come back in and I'll change the description on here to include the link to the gems. We've already done one facilitator training class and every yes. single person who has gotten these gems has felt the energy coming off of them and has been able to feel different colors coming in and experience that. Every, every single person who has received these so far. Yes, and Ruth, we do have a question in the audience. Of where can we find these angelic gems? So as Ruth just said, she's going to put the link into the comments and you'll be able just to click on that and go right to the information about it. Right, and if you go to our website, which is www.enlightenedworld.online. In the left-hand column, there's a menu there, and Angelic Gems is one of those, one of those options on the menu. So anyway, that was so much of what we got today. We know that we will be offering retreats here at Enlightened World, um, just praying that things continue to open up, that folks will be able to fly and travel. And we will have retreats and working with the Emerald Gems is gonna be part of a couple of those retreats. We also, um, Terry and I also work with something, it's a transformational deep dive. And that's gonna be part of a retreat as well that we're planning on having at Mount Shasta. So, so excited for all of the opportunity that's coming our way here at Enlightened World. Yes, that will be in April of 2022, a year from now. You got a year to plan to be there and, as I say, save your pennies. <laughs> Unless we're in Sweden watching the cranes fly in. So, well, that too. <laughs> April. That's in April as well. Um, we have folks all over the globe. So we have the opportunity to have retreat in Tokyo, retreat in Australia, retreat in Sweden. Um, the options are endless, really. Italy, Silver has invited us to come to Italy. So we're holding out that opportunity to be together in person with you all. So lots of promise this year. We're, you know, Easter of this year, the Easter of next year, it's going to blow. It's going to blow wide open, and we're so excited to have you all with us. 
Absolutely. Oh, this feels good. It feels good today to talk about new beginnings, to talk about expansion, because anytime a door opens, it opens up a whole lot of opportunity and opportunity for growth. That's what I'm hearing today. It's, it's the new start of a new day, of a new week. And let's just blow it wide open. Let's just enjoy every bit of it, every second of it. Just get into the energy of love. One of the other things that that was a, a message in this this morning, as we looked out in the banquet room, we could either choose to see a small group of people or we could choose to see the entire group that was there. Right. And we all have that opportunity at every minute to either look at things from a place of lack or, you know, is the glass half empty or is the glass half full? And, or is it overflowing? <laughs> right. Yeah. So be mindful today of how you are choosing to view things. Is it full of possibility and potential or are you keeping it small? Just be aware of that one piece. So Terry, thank you. Thank you for being here. Happy thank Easter. You. Um, happy Easter. And to all of you out there, I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day. And however you celebrate it, just celebrate. And celebrate yourself first. Give that love to yourself. And then let that flow out from you. So much love to each and every one of you. So pleased to be with you a year later after last Easter. It's been one heck of a year, folks. And mm -hmm. we are climbing upwards and outwards. So. God bless each and every one of you, and we'll see you soon.